Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to be seeing about the 12th module of the ISS, the MBS mobile based system. Let's start the video. The MBS based system, mobile based system on the International Space Station is similar to a maintenance cart in a warehouse. Just as a maintenance cart carries tools and supplies for fixing things around the warehouse, the MBS moves equipment and experiments around the space station. It can travel along rails attached to the station structure, allowing astronauts to easily transport heavy payloads to different locations. The MBS helps astronauts access what they need for repairs and experiments, ensuring that tasks can be completed efficiently and effectively in the vast expanse of space. Installed in 2002, the MBS serves as a critical platform for the robotic arms, including Canadam 2 and the special purpose Dextorious Manipulator System. Positioned atop the mobile transporter, which glides along rails on the station's main truss, the MBS enables Canadam 2 and SPDM to access various work sites along the truss structure. This mobility is essential for tasks such as maintenance, assembly and payload handling. The MBS showcases the collaborative effort between agencies like Canadian Space Agency and the manufacturer MD Robotics in developing robust space infrastructure. Its design considerations for long-term service life and adaptability to evolving mission requirements underscores its importance in sustaining human presence and conducting advanced operations on the ISS, contributing significantly to the success of the space exploration endeavors. The mobile-based system MBS represents a critical component of the International Space Station ISS's infrastructure. Launched as part of the UF-2 mission of the SGS-111 from Kennedy Space Center on June 5, 2002. We have a go for auto sequence start. Endeavors on board computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T-minus 20 seconds and counting. 15, 12, 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, we have a go for main engine start, 5, 3, 2, 1, 0, we have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavor, extending our reach while expanding our research in space. Installed aboard the ISS, the MBS plays a pivotal role in enhancing robotic operations and station maintenance. It serves as a platform for the Canadam 2 and Special Purpose Dextorious Manipulator SPDM, enabling them to maneuver across the station's truss structure and access work sites efficiently. The MBS integration with the mobile transporter MT further exemplifies its functionality, allowing the Canadam 2 to inchworm between the US lab fixture and the MBS. Endeavour Houston, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. Throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Ken Cockrell aboard Endeavour. He's joined on the flight deck by pilot Paul Lockhart, flight engineer Franklin Chang Diaz, and mission specialist Philippe Perrin. The new Expedition 5 crew, Commander Valerie Corzoon and Flight Engineers Peggy Whitson and Sergei Treschoff, seated down on the mid-deck. Endeavour already 11 and a half miles in altitude, 8 miles downrange from the... Expanding its reach and capabilities for tasks such as assembly, maintenance and payload handling. This successful integration underscores the collaborative efforts and technological advancements that enable sustained human presence and operational efficiency of both ISS.
As Endeavour approached the ISS, the crew meticulously prepared for the docking procedure. Utilizing guidance systems and precise maneuvers, the shuttle aligned itself with the pressurized mating adapter 2 PMA2 located at the forward end of the Destiny laboratory module. Docking was achieved with precision, ensuring a secure connection between the shuttle and the station. After docking, one of the primary tasks of the mission was the attachment of the mobile base system MBS to the zero truss of the ISS. The MBS, a crucial platform for robotic operations, was carefully maneuvered and attached to the station structure, enhancing the station's capabilities for future assembly and maintenance tasks. Simultaneously, the multi-purpose logistics module MPLM carried by Endeavour was positioned for attachment to the Nader Common Birthing Mechanism CBM of the Unity module on the ISS. This module carried essential cargo and significant experiments vital for the station's operations and research objectives. Throughout the mission, extravehicular activities EVS, were conducted to perform various tasks, including crucial repairs, installations and maintenance on the ISS. These spacewalks were meticulously planned and executed to ensure the safety of the astronauts and the success of the mission objectives. As the mission neared its conclusion, the MPLM was replaced into Endeavour's cargo bay for the return journey to Earth. Undocking procedures were conducted with precision, 
disengaging the shuttle from the ISS's docking ports. Following a successful undocking, Endeavour initiated its descent back to Earth. culminating in a safe landing at Edwards Air Force Base on June 19, 2002. The completion of the STS-111 mission marked another milestone in the ongoing efforts to assemble, resupply and maintain the International Space Station ISS. The mobile base system serves as a pivotal component of the International Space Station's main infrastructure. Designed to facilitate intricate robotic operations and enhance station's maintenance capabilities comprising various parts and subsystems, the MBS plays a crucial role in supporting the mobility and functionality of the Canadam 2 and Special Purpose Dexterity's Manipulator. One of the primary elements of the MBS is its attachment mechanism to the station's truss structure. This attachment allows the MBS to be securely positioned along the truss, providing a stable platform for the robotic arms operations. The MBS is equipped with mechanisms for precise positioning and alignment, ensuring optimal functionality during robotic tasks such as payload handling, assembly and maintenance activities across different work sites along the truss. Another key feature of the MBS is its compatibility with the mobile transporter MT, enabling coordinated movement and repositioning of the robotic arms across the station's truss. The integration of the MBS with the MT enhances the overall mobility and reach of the Canada M2, allowing them to traverse the truss structure of the station and access various locations on the ISS for tasks such as module installation, equipment servicing, and scientific experiments. Additionally, the MBS includes systems for power distribution, data communication, and payload accommodation. These systems enable the MBS to provide necessary power and data connectivity to the robotic arms during their operations. The MBS can host payloads and equipment for their expanding the station's capabilities for scientific research. Equipped with four power data grapple fixtures and multiple attachment points for payloads, the MBS enhances the versatility of the robotic operations on the ISS. Its design not only facilitates the movement of the robotic arms, but also supports astronauts during extravehicular activities EVAs by providing storage locations for tools, food restraints, handrails and safety tether attachment points. The MBS mobile base system has dimensions of 5.7 meters, 18.7 feet in width, 4.5 meters, 14.8 feet in height, 
2.9 meters, 9.5 feet in depth. And it has a mass of approximately 1584 kilograms, 3492 pounds. In conclusion, the mobile base system MBS stands as a testament to human ingenuity and technological innovation in space exploration. Through its intricate design and functionality, the MBS empowers the International Space Station ISS with enhanced robotic capabilities enabling crucial tasks such as payload handling, assembly and maintenance across the station's expansive trust. As we look into the future of space exploration and research, the MBS serves as a critical tool in enhancing our understanding of space and maximizing the International Space Station's potential as a platform for scientific discovery and international collaboration. I hope this video on the MBS base system was interesting and informative. We'll meet in the next video with another interesting module. Take care. Bye.